Hey everybody, B.W. Cummins here with a, another painting for you, featuring more of me than you usually see, so sorry about that. Uh, anyway, this was a tall painting, so I couldn't really uh, fit it in screen, zoomed in, so yeah, that's why I'm there. This is a, a triptych, a three paintings of Aspen, an Aspen forest in fall. So uh, I just blocked in color, uh, sky, far background, and foreground uh, leaves. And then I just started putting in some ghosty dead trees. Um, dead trees are a lot easier to paint than live trees because, you know, all the leaves are on the ground and the sky is gray. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, just painting away, deciding where I'm going to put things. I did not copy the photo. I just used a photo as inspiration. So my trees are where I wanted them to go. And so far background, then uh, uh, mid foreground, and then, well, foreground. I wanted this to be something that you could like feel like you could walk into Maybe like that you're looking out a window and, um, you know, uh, the great thing about this is you can kind of fix things as you go. Uh, but also the boring thing for you guys is that you're watching me do the same thing three times. And, uh, sometimes I was working out things from one painting to the, from the first painting to the third one. And so they do all look similar, but there are little differences. Uh, then I come in, boom, I, I zoomed in here so you could see just putting in big, uh, uh, Aspen trees. Aspens and birch are very similar. Maybe birch, I don't know, I'm not a tree expert. Uh, maybe birch have a little more bend to them, so I, that's why I call these aspens, but you might know better. They, if they look like birch, then feel free to correct me in the comments and make me feel bad about myself. <laughs> look at this. This is an aspen. You can tell that it's an aspen tree because of the way it is. Wow. Midground trees in, and then uh, just a little bit of shading. They're white trees with. Uh, with dark marks on. And then I'll come in after that and add the little detail onto the, these trees, which like I say, mid ground, uh, getting some separation in there, uh, just with some shadows, some dark spots, some depth I wanna create, bring certain things forward and push things back. So here I get to go in with the detail and here's where it really starts start uh, looking like something. Like I almost could have, been done at this stage, you know, uh, minus the leaves on the bottom. And, and it's very bright on the bottom and it darkens. Uh, I just put that as a block in of fall leaves. Uh, but yeah, so like you're starting to see something. This I, I like this. Um, here's a close up of me just dabbing in some, some shapes that will represent leaves. Um, I didn't want to bore everybody with like every excruciating detail. So this one, uh, this video will kind of like just stop in progress and then show you the final product, adding some twigs on the ground and uh, stuff like that. I will put in some foreground trees. Uh, darkening this really helped me like, oh, this is what it's going to look like. Then I just went in, boom, and Bob Rossed these trees right up in the front, uh, which is, this is not the kind of thing I usually paint. So it hurt my soul a little, but it was such a good exercise for me to, to I'm um, trying to, be uncomfortable in my art. And this certainly did that. Um, so the uh, just putting detail on these close-up trees and uh, even added some trees after the video was over. You know, I, I got up like in the middle of the night last night and said, nope, it needs more close-up trees and added a couple more so that there's uh, three on each uh, canvas. And this will go, uh, this was a commission piece, so it'll go hang in uh, some uh, commercial place. Um, but I, I like it. I think it invites you in. Uh, I purposely kept the center open so you could walk in there and, and sit and zen. Anyway, thank you guys, and I hope you have a great day. Bye now.